Now in this last part then, we've got to work out the variance of our random variable t from this probability distribution table. And we should know that this is the formula e of t squared minus e of t all squared. Okay, So we'll just put that in square brackets. You must have probably seen this before with the random variable x, var x being e of x squared minus e of x all squared. Okay. Now, from the previous part, we've already worked out what e of t was. It was 2.25. So we've taken care of this bit. We just need to work out e of t squared. And e of t squared is worked out by doing the sum of all your observed values squared, so t squared, and it's each one of those t squared is multiplied by the probability that t equals that corresponding value of t. So in other words, another tedious calculation to work out, but what we've got to do is naught squared multiplied by its probability, 7 sixteenths, and then add it to much the same kind of thing here. 1 squared multiplied by 1 16th plus and then just carrying on writing that out 2 squared times 1 8th plus 3 squared times 1 8th plus 4 squared times 1 16th again another tedious one to work out but 6 squared times 1 8th I'd encourage you to uh, just to write this out though show the examiner that you know what you're doing okay as far as the working goes okay so you've got that written out just work that out on your calculator you'll find you get 12.25 and so therefore all we need to do is just fill that back into our formula here for the variance of t variance of t then equals e of t squared which is 12.25 minus then e of t all squared. So e of t then is 2.25 and we just need to square that. And what do we get? Well you get 7.1875 and if you had that as a fraction, okay, as an exact fraction, it turns out to be 115 over 16. Okay, leave it to you to decide what you want to go for. Alright?